<laughs> and then we all get super yeah. quiet. But the funny thing is, is that it it would show up for like maybe 30 seconds and then just be gone for a really long time. Yeah, but then it would pop back in every now and then. And yeah. that was actually sticking around for a lot longer because it started when I was doing the <sighs> at the beginning. Okay. I could hear it and I thought, okay, well, maybe by the time Ben's done with the intro and it comes back to me, it'll be fixed. And then it wasn't and it wasn't gone until after we shut everything down. Yeah. Okay. So we're streaming to Twitch right now and you're not hearing any echoes. All right. I'm talking and yeah, no echo. Okay. No echo at all. Okay. Um, let's see. We were off Alpha Geek. Okay, I'm gonna try the audio of Alpha Geek first. Okay. So Azeroth Roundtable. Once that's going, we hit this. No, not record. Just tell me when you want okay. me to talk. Um, hold on. Recording stop. You're disconnected. Okay, we're connected on Alpha Geek now. Okay. Uh, talking some more, and there is no echo. No echo, okay. Um, okay, so no echo there. No echo with that. So now the only thing left is to try to get video going on Alpha Geek. Okay. So we'll do that. Here. In a second here. It should be going. Okay. Okay. Video has started, so go ahead and start talking. Okay, now we're going to test the video, and we're checking, and there's no echo at all. Yeah, except we have the the static going on, like a little bit more so. So hmm. I'm going to close. Me... Hold on, I'm going to close voice meter and open it back up. Okay, you're going to get echo at first, but it's always disappeared shortly thereafter. Okay. Okay, so hold on. Okay, I have it back open. Okay, let's... I don't have Echo at all right now. Okay, but I'm still getting some static, but I think it's just voice meter, and I think that it's just pissing me off is what it's doing. Um, still no Echo. Okay, well, that's good. Still none. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Yeah? There's no Echo right now. That's pretty good. Yeah. We're going to bump up the sound quality from voice meter even more. Okay. Push it to the limit. Oh, never mind. The, uh, it may, my application may stop working, so hold on. Limit. Limit. Figures versus auto cable. Let's bump this up just in case. Oh, that's why. That's still at CD quality. We need to bump that up to studio quality. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I still have not gotten my Monk transmog. I have not attempted since BlizzCon, though, or before. So I would be surprised if I got it. Diablo? But, uh, no. Ah. Fair point, Accuzad. I haven't played since he yelled at me. That is true. I mean, I've been in WoW since he yelled at me. I haven't raided since Accuzad yelled at me. <laughs> I like because of the delay he just asked when was the last time I was in game uh, when you yelled at me yeah, uh, for talking was... about anime and getting you killed <laughs> <laughs> all right all right we're just gonna do this we're going to do this. There's going to be some scratching. It's going to go through on the uh, YouTube version. That's what happens. We'll see if I can get that fixed at some point. Okay. That's exciting. Excuse me for a second. Now I hear a cat echo. Ben had to turn off his camera because he's going to go murder a cat. I don't think he's actually killing a cat, everybody. Anybody who thinks that's actually happening, it's probably not happening. Probably. But I would be surprised if you heard the meowing, at, you know, afterwards. So, you know, take that. 
Uh, the, you know what? It It's better art without a cat. Keep the cats out of art. Other shows can have cats. I don't want to be known as the cat show. Gross. This is just going to further people believing I hate cats. Oh, what are you going to do? They're, uh, they're the worst. Actually, I have a neighbor right now who has a... They got, like, a hound. That's the worst. I like dogs. But my neighbor who has a hound officially is the worst. Like a hound dog? Like it goes... Yeah. Wow. Like hardcore. All right. Let's do this again. Okay. I've been Mumhofer, the current king of Azeroth Roundtable. Welcome to Azeroth Roundtable, episode 139. My name is Ben Bumhoffer, and with me, as always, is John Jagger. How's it going, John? There are way too many Ben Bumhoffers here. I just but, like who uh, I am. What can I say? You know, it's good to be happy with yourself, uh, Ben, and uh, I'm happy to be here. Man, it feels like it's been forever since we sat down to do this. It's actually only been a week. Well, but technically, it's been like four. Yeah, that's what I mean. Doesn't it feel like we haven't done episodes for like a month now? It really does. It, um, it really, really does. Because, I mean, we had our BlizzCon episode, which is always great. I love doing that, albeit it was rushed because of uh, poor scheduling. Um, my bad on that. We had our before and after BlizzCon shows, which are definitely not normal shows. Right. And before that, it was a show. Yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah, a long but while. Here we are. We've uh, we've got a chance to recover. Mm -hmm. We've got a chance to settle uh, and to grow. Really? We're going to grow? <laughs> As people. <laughs> Just on this episode alone, you're going to see a character arc. <laughs> no, this is like a new season. Welcome to season four of yep. Azeroth Roundtable. I'm going to start smoking and quit. Oh, character man. growth. Yeah, character growth. John's going to start doing meth and quit. Character yeah. growth. Character growth. Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> speaking of character growth holy crap dude blizzcon i can't believe what they're doing with some of the stuff with legion you know ben it it started real dark at blizzcon for me and my wow level of excitement but by the time it was done oh my gosh i am so hyped for legion i know um, which cracks me up because i see the twitter feed i see the things people say which Twitter feed? Of, ours? Ours. 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 Uh, and, and mine. There's a lot of skepticism as to uh, whether or not I'm ever going to like an MMO again, which I found funny for a couple reasons. One, because literally the thing I was doing while waiting for you guys to pick me up to go to BlizzCon was playing an MMO. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't WoW. but I, that's, so, that's different. Don't worry that's, about that. That's neither here nor there. Um... But then it also made me laugh because now here I am and I am so excited for Legion. Um, if you remember, <laughs> I was not at this stage for Warlord. Oh my god, no. You were so far from it, it, it wasn't even funny. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. And I wanted to ask you, Ben. Okay. Uh, ben Bumhofer, Champion yes. and King. Mm-hmm. I wanted to find out. So you've already told me personally you are thinking, you know, you're going to you're going to play a lot of alts. You're going to you're trying right now to level up a bunch of alts so no. you'll be able to see the artifact weapon quests and things like that. Yeah. And uh, that's very exciting. But I want to hear about your plans for your main. Whoever that might be, Team Monk. Uh, I know it's not going to be the monk, but okay. It's first of all, I know you said team, but it sounded like teen, and for some reason, I I thought teen wolf. What's going on? Yeah, teen monk. Yeah, teen monk. He's a, he's a plucky teen who's ready to wear odd bead necklaces and punch guys in the face. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. Um, well, no, so where are you with your uh, your main going into this expansion? What are your thoughts? What are you excited about? Um, that is a really good question, John. 
a really good question. I'm he definitely wouldn't. not playing with audio stuff at the same time as we're doing this too. Um, but Should I ask our guest. <laughs> I think he's going to be a warrior, and she's going to be a marksman hunter. But um, no, I I really I don't know. It, that's the thing. I'm I'm going back and forth. A lot of it has to do with whatever is going to be needed for raid, and with our team last night it was weird. We had a whole ton of healers. Other nights, we usually don't, and I'm very much needed to heal. So that's one of those things. It's, um, yeah. I, I, okay, so... Ben, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did you hear my original question? Yeah, what am I going to do with my main? Okay, just making sure. Yeah, no, I'm getting there. Oh, so, all right, it's a build-up. Yeah, it is a total build-up. So okay. here's the thing. I'm going to do the absolute worst thing I can possibly do and try to main two characters at least until we, we get to the point for raiding. I know. Don't shake your head at me. What? I just I was looking at something <laughs> interesting over here and then something interesting <laughs> over here. But then I thought, this isn't as interesting as the thing that was back over there. I'll look at that again. I had to qualify. I'm just looking. There's a lot of stuff going on, Ben. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, so, okay. Here's the thing. I want to play my monk because I'm actually really enjoying healing. It is very rewarding, right? Sure. I, I want to play my mage because I like blowing stuff up. And it's a lot of fun and also very rewarding, right? That, yes, sounds rewarding. Yeah. So I'm torn. You're I'm torn? I'm, I still say my main is my mage. I'm taking through her through as fire, and I'm really looking forward to doing that and getting my artifact and having a lot of fun and everything, right? Right. But at the same time, I've grown really attached to this monk, which I really enjoy healing on. So I'm doing them both. But my main is my mage, as is my namesake. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's right there in your name. You had a chance. You uh, you recently acquired a PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. And uh, I noticed on there that you are listed with the mage in your name. Yes, I am. That's because uh, I'm a mage. That's a bold stance to take if you're not going to play a mage. No, I am playing a mage. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So funny thing in, in raid last night, uh, I was talking about augment runes and saying, uh, because I was on my mate or my monk and I was DPSing because again, tons of, uh, healers. So I'm like, Hey, does anybody have an agility augment room? And I think it was, it was either Zod or Hunts. They said, uh, you know, you can get a permanent one. I'm like, that's great. I don't have the rep on this character because I'm still mainstreaming everything on my mage because in my mind, she's still my main, even though I'm not raiding with her. Like, if that's even possible. She's still the one that I get, you know, all my achievements on. She's the one that I always go to first for everything. Like, uh, when, when Halloween came up, she was the first one that I actually worked on her garrison with the decorations and stuff. So, yeah, I just, I identify in the game as a mage a whole lot. Just right now, I'm healing as a monk. But, Sounds good. Yeah. So the big question is, of course, you. I mean, <laughs> you know, you, you log into WoW every now and then. Uh, you know, you you still have an active subscription. So, you know, people don't come running at us with torches and pitchforks. <laughs> or, well, you know, don't come running at John with torches and pitchforks. At least any more than you already do. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so I know that uh, you were super excited about pirate talents. Like I might have been a little excited, about insanely pirates. excited about that. I, I mean, I I was actually really surprised because you don't get excited about stuff. Well, at least outwardly. So the fact that you're like pirate talents, Ben, pirate talents. I get excited about a lot of stuff. Like I said, outwardly. I just got to be given a reason to get outwardly excited <laughs> about stuff. And it's been a, a barren desert of pain for a while. But. There is a oasis, mm -hmm. and that oasis has a ghostly pirate ship floating on its cool, clear waters. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been trying to decide what I'm going to do because I am currently firmly planted in Team Monk. Mm -hmm. um, monks are uh, the best class, I've been known to say. Yeah, yeah, you, you have. In fact, 
You were so excited when I said, hey, I'm healing on my monk. You're like, yeah. Yeah, you joined it's the one, monks. It's one of those rare high fives I got from you. Yeah. Well, so here's the problem, mm -hmm. is that when I say monk is the best class, I, I think I mean a lot of that from the standpoint of gameplay. And from the standpoint of gameplay, uh, it's hard to go wrong with a monk. You're in there, you're in the thick of it, which you know I like to be. Mm -hmm. You're punching things, which is uh, fantastic in and of itself. You can self-heal, so the ability to solo stuff is pretty easy. Uh, there's just a lot of really cool things. You got some nice ranged thrown in there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of cool things monks can do from a gameplay perspective. I don't think they have the most interesting uh, fantasy in the game. Um, I think it's very interesting for Pandaren, and I think it was very interesting for Pandaria. And I don't know if the monk fantasy has necessarily evolved much going out of that expansion. Mm -hmm. uh, it's It's kind of... Death Knights are inherently interesting because of what they are. Yeah. Monks were interesting because of what they were in the scope of Pandaria. Now, finding their unique voice and tone outside of that story is a little bit more challenging, and I don't know if Blizzard's really hit it for me. Uh, what they have hit, however... Pirate talents. ...is rogues. Uh, <laughs> rogues who I have, uh, you know... Rogue was my first class love in this game. Uh, not the first class I played. It was actually the third. Hunter? Night Elf Hunter, first class? Uh, oh, it might have been the fourth. Because I know I think, that you were, you were all like, hey, let's play a ranger. Hey, this looks like a ranger. Uh, I think originally I played a Night Elf Druid, and then that seemed slow and kind of uh -huh. boring. And then I think I went to Hunter after that. And then I think I went to Mage. And I was liking Mage, but I thought, man... I want to be undead. I want to be on the horde. I don't want to be alliance anymore. Yeah. Uh, and so I switched over to uh, to the horde and stuck with an undead mage for a good long while, and then decided to try a undead rogue, and that would eventually go on to be my main. Uh, and I've pretty much been exclusive to rogues up until the monk hit the scene, and that happened to be kind of the perfect storm of I was just kind of losing interest in the way rogues were playing and the direction rogues were going right at the same time that they put in a class that seemed really interesting and really compelling. Yeah. Well, with the changes they're doing to Legion, which seems to be them looking at each spec of each class and saying, how can we make this really interesting and compelling? Now it's no longer a case of like, okay, well, which mechanics are the most fun? And now it's kind of getting back to what they had said they wanted their goal to be, which was, okay, which is the fantasy that you like the best? And for me, I think that falls back to Rogue. So I'm probably about to spend money I don't have uh, to assure that the Revendon legacy carries on in the form of a Rogue, not a Monk. Um which I still haven't figured out how I'm going to transfer and switch all that around, but that'll be... <laughs> A journey for another time <laughs> well no it, it's simple you you know you were a rogue for a while and you know he you had to do what needed to get done you were the the shadow of what garage or something like that at that point then you uh became enlightened and everything and unfortunately times have changed you've got to slip back into that old uh, roguish piratey aspect oh storyline i have it down oh okay i know the story it's just uh figuring out Okay, how do I get the name to be on the rogue and the, this <laughs> name to be over here? And do I need to do a race change and uh, figuring all that out? It's a mess. Oh, okay. so I, I I follow you. So uh, uh, monetarily, you have to figure that out. Yeah, that's okay. what I that's what I need to work out. Well, so, the, the good news is is that uh, Black Friday uh, hero sale is coming soon. So the money that you'd spend on that. You'll be saving. You can apply towards all the switching and stuff that you need to do. Oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, but the rogue is becoming something really awesome. You know, we're we're at a really cool place right now. We've just gotten back from BlizzCon, 
MMO Champion is throwing up tons of information about the expansion that I'm not 100% sure Blizzard wants you to know, but it's up there. And uh, looking at the talents, I mean, Rogue has become this shadowy, dark magic at times, ninja, <laughs> pirate, blade master. I used to always joke that Rogue was too vague of a term, you mm -hmm. know, because it means something different to everybody. And they have kind of found a way to make that class have hooks, in some cases, literally. Oh, uh, I see what for, you did there. Uh, for, you know, how you view the class. Uh, and yes, for any who don't know what that was a reference to, rogues get a grappling hook. I didn't actually know that. Rogues get a grappling hook. So what, instead of a double jump, you get to grappling hook? I think it's like scorpion spear. But I so don't you're know. pulling things. So, so you're telling me that you get death grip. Uh, maybe. Why don't you uh, uh, tell me something and I'll find that out. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so something that I'm actually really super excited about, and I, I might have mentioned this before when Legion was actually announced, but... I, I know that uh, you can pick your spec and you can do it and, you know, that's what you're doing. But I'm actually really excited for the artifact weapons because I want to do the storyline for all of them. And when I say all of them, I mean all of them, which that's pretty daunting. And I know I probably won't ever do that, but it's got me thinking about what I want to actually spend my 100 boost on. And uh, before you say rogue... I do have a 56 rogue that is just rogue. sitting there, or 54, something like that. I'm thinking of maybe bringing him up to 60, so if I do boost him, at least all of his uh, crafting stuff will be maxed out. Or up to at least wherever it'll be, whatever that is. Um, then I don't have a... Well, Warlock I'm never going to play, so that's my bank tune, who cares? Um, but I have a warrior just kind of sitting there, and I have a shaman just kind of sitting there as well. And thinking about it, I think I might make a shaman. That's pretty cool. Shamans are cool. Yeah. In it, lore. And I mean, it, it, I'm not going to lie. Part of it is because I can wield Doomhammer. Because I, mean, I really want to know what's going on with that. In fact, um, you know, if I get into the beta, I am probably going to be, you know, boosting a shaman and starting that quest line because I got to see what happens and how you get that Doomhammer. All right. I found Grappling Hook. Okay. Launch a grappling hook and pull yourself to the target location. So instead so, of a double jump, you get a really awesome ability that gets you to inaccessible places. Yeah, cool grappling hook. That's really I, cool. I mean, I have a long-standing history with the grappling hook. Really? Uh, yes, it was the very first mod I ever installed in a game. Uh, it was for uh, Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight. <laughs> um... And I downloaded a grappling hook mod, and that was, that was the first time I ever modded anything. So okay, grappling hooks are all right, but that's not all, Ben. I want to point out. Okay, look, you you want to be a shaman, and that's fine. Let me okay. sell you on why the rogue is the best class. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I can't. Well, it's up in front of me right now, and now I just it's so cool. Uh, are you on the actual WoW site, or is this like MMO so, Champion or something? Okay, so this information is coming from WoWhead. Okay. Um, go ahead, and everybody, as we are talking about a beta that is not even out yet. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt because you never know. You, yeah. you Who knows? Things change. Yes. Uh, so we already know about pistol shot, where you draw a concealed pistol and shoot a guy <laughs> while you're fighting him. You can. Uh, there's also a version where you pull out a poison coated knife and throw that at them. Um, I imagine that's probably different across the specs. Uh, okay. Cannonball barrage. Command a ghost ship crew to barrage the target area with cannonballs. Where do you think they're located? What, the ship? Yeah. It's a ghost ship, so we can sail wherever. Okay. So we don't have to worry about them being way over that way. <laughs> right. Okay. Pirates are no longer landlocked. They can yeah. they can do it. All right, listen to this. This this is really cool. There's an ability called Roll the Bones. Uh, it's a finishing move that rolls the dice of fate. 
providing a random combat enhancement and lasts longer per combo point. Okay, that's kind of cool. I love that. It's just random for no good reason. That seems great. Uh, let's see. I already told you about grappling hook. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. This stuff sounds kind of cool. Yeah. That's Don't make me stuff. do a, a, a rogue now. Uh, quick draw. Free uses of pistol shot granted by Saber Slash now generate one additional combo point and deal 50% increased damage. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of basic, but it's called Quick Draw. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Shuriken Storm. Spray shurikens at all targets within 10 yards. So you're a ninja pirate. <laughs> you can bribe. What does that actually do, though? Bribe a humanoid target with fool's gold, convincing it to fight for you for one minute. That is actually kind of <laughs> cool. They're they're basically taking some of the coolest abilities from all the different classes and saying, no one's playing rogues. Let's make them do this. Parlay. It uh, pacifies the target who is forced to negotiate instead of fighting for one minute. So... For crowd control, you basically do the Pirates of the Caribbean and you declare declare parlay. And then they have to negotiate instead of fight. With or you. you bribe them to fight everyone else for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. OK, so okay. that's cool. So so there. That's a little look at some of the cool things going on with rogues. Uh, big shout out to Ted Semi, who supplied the, the link to that before the show. Yeah, that's. That's really cool. And it should be clear, it because the chat room is asking this, um, it is listed on the site as under all specializations, but Blizzard has said that certain talents will only be available for certain specs, mm -hmm. and I do not believe this is going to be the case. I don't believe those are all for, for all specs. Yeah, I, it doesn't seem like it would actually fit with subtlety at all. Yeah, and I think they also said that they wanted Assassination to be the only one that really used, like, the heavy poison. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. So, that that's a quick little look at rogues. Now, Ben, have you looked at any of the mage abilities yet? Considering I found this out as soon as you started talking about it, like, two minutes ago, um, I'm just skimming through here really quick and it looks like a lot of the stuff is uh, basically the class didn't get overhauled too much right. um, there are some certain things that did which I mean I am getting incredibly excited about actually you know how fire works now uh, or will anyway because you know one of the big things that I've complained about many times on this show and even on other shows is that fire is so crit heavy that you need to have the gear for it otherwise you don't do damage and even then there's still a huge RNG factor over you know if you crit how much you crit for if you hit combustion at the wrong time that your DPS is just hosed whereas if you hit it at the right time it's through the roof and things like that so there's a lot of different changes that are making fire less RNG based. Well, it's still RNG based, but you know, if you, you know, hit something wrong or something like that, it's not going to be as, you know, huge of a mistake as it was before. And that's the thing that I'm actually really excited about. Uh, like combustion instead of, you know, applying an extra dot to your target, you're actually engulfing yourself in fire, which is awesome. And yep. then your crit strike is a hundred percent for like 10 seconds. So, you know, hit like, well, okay. Fire blast isn't there anymore, but you know, hit like, I don't know, scorch and then another one or something like that. And you can just, just throw pyroblast after pyroblast because you're just going to keep critting and critting for like 10, 12 seconds, you know, just do like a huge hit of damage. That's something that I'm actually really excited for because it's going to make the, the playing of a, a fire caster just so much more fun. Just be able like, hey, guess what? Huge chunk of fire. Ah, just throw, throw, throw. And it's going to be awesome. I like blowing stuff up as a fire mage. Really? Yeah. Just a bit. All right. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> um, I'm actually kind of excited about potentially, possibly getting back to Arcane. The, the best thing about that is, is that Arcane Mages, the big draw was uh, for your mastery. You do more damage 
the more mana you have. So, you know, if I'm at 100% mana, woohoo, I'm doing more damage than if I'm at 50. But here's the thing. When you cast a spell, you lose mana. So, it's not fun. You know, despite what some people might say, it's not very fun. Just, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm building up my Arcane Blast, and then I have to clear it, because I don't want to lose all my mana. And then you try to do a burn phase as much as you can, so, you know, you throw a whole bunch of charges in there, but then your mana is so low, it's, it doesn't even matter, really. So the new mastery that they're doing for that is really cool. So for, you know, more mastery you have, you have more mana. So you're not losing your damage at all. You're actually, you know, worried more about actually conserving mana and the fact that I need to make sure to clear my stack so I'm not out of mana, not I'm losing DPS. So while it's not as flashy and exciting as like a ghost ship, it's actually making those specs a lot more fun to play. So I'm actually yeah. really stoked about that. And that seems to be kind of a common theme in a lot of the different specs and changes that, you know, we've heard of talking to other people, too. Yeah, and it sounds like the uh, the artifact weapons are going to enhance a lot of that as well. Mm -hmm. um, for anybody who might not have seen it, uh, the example they gave at BlizzCon, they talked about this scythe uh, that had harvested a bunch of souls and that you could get an ability where occasionally uh, a soul would pop out and you could harvest it for, I think they said like a damage buff or, um, you know, it, it health mm -hmm. or something like that. But then maybe you could spec it later to where it would then fight for you mm -hmm. or, you know, things of that nature. So it sounds like not only are we getting, you know, kind of a rework somewhat, you know, some classes more than others of how classes work, but then on top of that, we're also getting these cool new talents that are going to let us spec our characters in some really interesting ways. And then on top of that, we have the artifact abilities, which are going to do some really cool stuff for us, too. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And uh, so, question for you. And be honest. Not like you ever aren't. But <laughs> um, is the artifact weapon something that is also helping you kind of lean towards more... Uh, towards rogue as opposed to monk i mean i like a good fist weapon that is a bunch of wolverine style claws and stuff uh so and, and honestly between the two like you know when you get right down to it um a lot of the they there's a reason they showed uh doom hammer and ashbringer mm -hmm. like those are the iconic ones all these other weapons, uh, more or less, because I don't know all of them off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, the importance is in the story that they're going to tell with them, because they're not the iconic weapons. There's Death Knights aren't running around with Frostmourne, although they are running around with a weapon made from containing Frostmourne. shards from Frostmourne. Yeah. But they're not running around with Frostmourne. You know. Uh, well, it the, broke. You can't really like. And that's true, but my point is, is there's not a ton of weapons in this game uh, that are as iconic as Doomhammer mm -hmm. and um, Ashbringer. So for most of the classes and specs, they've had to kind of just invent something. And some of them make a ton of sense and are very tied into yeah. lore, and some of them are just like, here's a cool weapon. Uh, in the case of both the Windwalker Monk and the Outlaw Rogue, they seem like cool weapons. They're interesting. They're what I would want for that spec. You know, fist weapon claws and uh, looks like rapiers probably for the for the rogue or cutlasses as you can change them into and stuff like that. Like those are all really cool things. Mm -hmm. But it's not like they're so iconic that it's like, oh, that's what I'm here for. You know, yeah. it. the thing that makes them interesting is the story that they're going to tell around them. And they seem all right. Like, I don't think they're bad. Uh, I think the artifact weapon system is amazing. Yeah. Because, you know, I have always had bad luck with weapon drops. Oh, yeah. I mean, heck, even I have. I mean, as a healing monk, I was super excited because I had, you know, a sword drop and I had a, you know, kind of decent offhand drop. So I'm like, yay, finally, I don't have to wield a stupid freaking staff. And then, John, guess what dropped off of Gorefiend? A staff. A staff. Yep. And it's better. Always. So I begrudgingly equipped it. I got so <laughs> sad. I'm like, okay. 
But uh, I, I still have the sword like in my inventory. So as soon as, you know, an offhand drops, I'll ask Mr. Robot the crap out of that and be like, yes, I can finally change again. So looking forward to that. Yeah. But and uh, I mean, I think being able to transmog it goes a long mm -hmm. way, too. Um, yeah. I think you're definitely like losing something uh, if you're transmogging these weapons. But you know, if you don't want to look like you're running around with the same thing as everybody else, that's unlock something, an, an option. Just, so just unlock it. Uh, you know, I I stand back. I stand by what I said back when they first revealed it. I think they need more versions of the weapon. Yeah. They're they're in a rare case in an expansion where the art team only has to work on these particular weapons, come up with bigger, wider scope variations that we start unlocking right away. Uh, just because I do think the temptation is going to be there for me to transmog simply so it doesn't look like I'm running around with the exact same weapon as everybody else. Yeah. Well, OK, so we we know that, uh, you know, different versions are going to be unlocked with. You know, like this one's the PVP one because I prestiged five times or whatever. And, you know, this one's from a quest line or, or, or whatnot. Do you think that uh, the that is one of those things that will drive people to keep coming back if they can get different and newer versions? Because, you know, one of the things that you've said so many times is that titles are a great reward because it, it's simple to do. Well, we assume it's simple to do. Right. We've always assumed yeah. it's an easy thing you can put in the game. Yeah. And, you know, mounts are always great rewards. People always go for those. Pets are a great reward. Toys now are. I don't know. OK, so no, toys remain. <laughs> OK. Wait, which, by the way, did you log in yet for the 11th anniversary? Oh, yeah, I saw. Yeah. If people look, if there are people right now that are like, I don't know what's up with John. He's being unusually positive. Ask me about the 11th anniversary. <laughs> BS. Friggin they should be charges. toys, right? Friggin charges like crazy, because heaven forbid you have fun in the game. Too much fun. Well, look, game. we had a full raid of Murlocs last night and it was fantastic. Whatever. Stupid charges. I wanted to mail it back to them. Well, I don't know. No, that's like, what I'm saying. Turn to send. If it wasn't just charges, I would have been a Murloc the entire night. Yeah. Hell. OK, I know how much you hate the, the cooldowns and stuff. If it wasn't charges, but it's like a five hour cooldown on a one hour buff, would that be better? It's a better thing to give us, but it's not better. OK. Like, I, I mean, look, I think that this game does need limits on some of the stuff it lets you do. Mm -hmm. If the game's going to let you turn into something real dumb and make the game look bad, like if you turn into a tree and all of a sudden you're a tr like EverQuest had this problem, like all of a sudden you're a tree that can move and spin and jump around. So and all of that. Uh yeah, but no animation like it just looks oh, okay. broken. It just looks like the game is absolutely broken. Uh, that's not good for the game for people to see. Mm -hmm. I understand why you want to limit how often and how much people can do that. But for something as simple as like, oh, you unlock these really cool wings. Well, you can use it for five minutes, but then you're going to have to wait 30 to 45 minutes before mm -hmm. you can use it again. Like, what's the point? Just... Just let them have it on all the time. Like, that's not breaking the game. That's not ruining anybody's fun. That's mm -hmm. not messing anybody up. Just let people do cool stuff in that game. Like, you're already limited by what you can offer in the ways of armor styles and stuff like that. Let people customize their character with weird things. And I don't want to walk into Orgrimmar and see 7 million warning signposts because there's no cooldown or limit to what Oh no, that has do. five charges. Uh, right. Like, I don't... <laughs> not the Lillian Voss one, though. Um, oh, I didn't know she had one. But, like, I get there need to be limits. Yeah. But I feel like they are so arbitrary on what those limits are and where you can have them. And, oh, this has charges. This doesn't have charges. This has a ridiculously long cooldown for what it is. I just feel like nobody gave it any thought. I feel like they put it in a random number generator to determine a <laughs> cooldown. And yeah. uh, I, it just, it, like, it, it bugs me. You know, I look at... Not that I want to constantly compare uh, to games, other games I'm playing or anything like that, but you look at um, Old Republic, and you can unlock full costumes that make you look like the main lore characters from that game. They just let you do that, because who cares? 
what does it ultimately matter? Like, you get to feel cool while you're playing the game. That's how it should be. Okay. So, anyways, um, <laughs> do you think that uh, with the... <laughs> God, this, this is the dumbest thing to go back to now, but... So, you know, new patches come in. Do you think that they're going to keep doing more art and more assets like say, you know, beat this raid boss and then you get something like things that they haven't announced yet because they've shown a lot of the different artwork and they kind of have an idea of where stuff comes from. Do you think it's going to be a constant thing throughout the expansion? I hope so. Like I, I really hope that there's more ways to, to customize your, your artifact weapon. I think that's one of the coolest features of the expansion. Um, and I, it would motivate me to some degree to kind of get back to what you were originally asking. Um, it might be enough of a nudge to where if I was on the fence, I would try for it as opposed mm -hmm. to not. Okay. But, uh, you know, it depends what it is. Like, is it going to get me to PvP? Probably not. Unless Even the if PV it's really cool? Even if it's really cool. Unless the PvP changes are enough to make me care about True. PvP. Like, Blizzard's own philosophy, gameplay first. If I like the gameplay enough to interact and engage with it, then that could be enough of a nudge to try to learn and try to get into it and all of that. Mm -hmm. Problem is, I don't like how WoW plays in a PvP sense. I don't think it feels fun. I don't think it plays fun. So I don't go back to it anymore. Yeah. Um, but if it if the changes they're proposing worked and it feels really good and then they say, hey, you can get a really sweet sword by doing this, I'm all in. I'll do that in a heartbeat. Cool. Very cool. And, you know, it might get you back on the raid team. Uh, well, not that you're off the raid team, but it might make get you to show up for raid. Uh. I mean, I'm looking forward <laughs> to getting back into raiding. I like raiding with you guys. I, I'm looking forward <laughs> to getting back into Look, I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Come on. <laughs> well, we actually did pretty well last night. My absence in the raid speaks for itself. There, it's just not. It's just. It's not, just not time. We'll we'll see what happens. We'll but, we'll get the rare white elk uh, near the end of the expansion when we're you know defeating heroic Archimonde all week, every week. Because you get a moose. <laughs> you, is isn't the moose going away when the new expansion hit? Yeah, we'll. Well, you know, we'll beat Heroic Archimonde. It's not like we're that far behind. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to beat Heroic Archimonde. We have a chance. Uh, a small one, but we have a chance. I don't know. It's weird. I So here's a funny little... Here's a funny little thing that I've encountered recently. And okay. I, I, I don't know how listeners are going to feel about this. I'll be curious to see what you think. So, well, let's see. If it's something you say, they'll either be like really mad and hate you or kind of agree. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely not really agree though. Yeah. Um, so a, a long while back we, uh, when star Wars, the clone wars was just starting to, to hit TV. Mm -hmm. Um, they made some pretty significant changes to what was considered at the time. Canon. Uh... And that was Ben's reaction to it. He was very mad. Ben, you all don't know this because Ben doesn't get this way about WoW, really. Like, he's mostly the calm, rational one, and I'm the <laughs> one who gets labeled as the irrational one on this show. Unless you bring up crafting. What you don't know is that Ben gets exactly like me <laughs> on certain topics. Yeah. Uh, one of those is Spider-Man, and the other one of those is Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Now, I used to be like Ben with Star Wars. <laughs> I used to be this bad about that, too. Well, OK, first of all, back then when Clone Wars was first coming out, I've changed significantly since then. You have to at least give me credit there. Oh, I totally agree. You, okay. You've changed. You are a better human being, Ben. Um, <laughs> it's the character arc that we're on this episode. <laughs> yeah, it's the character arc. There's character. Yeah. Uh, OK, so there, there hit this point where Ben was just up in arms about <laughs> these changes. And something just flipped in my brain that just went from, like, this is the worst thing in the world to, eh, that's fine. 
<laughs> and I was okay with it. And I just said, you know what? Let's just see what they do, and I'll have fun with it, and it'll be cool, and I'll take it for what it is, and I'm going to just go about my day and be as happy as I can possibly be. And I don't think Ben liked that attitude at first. Well, I was surprised that it came from you, like, first of all. I mean, okay, so between the two of us, who would get up in arms about stuff? You. Yeah. And probably. then when I was getting up in arms about it, you started to, then you're like, meh. Meh, you know what? I'm okay with it. Like, I'm but John, to... this stuff matters. Um, meh. And in a weird sort of way, I'm getting to that point with, Certain things in WoW. Mm -hmm. Certain things in WoW I still obviously am very passionate about. We've found one of those topics here tonight, possibly. Really? What yeah. would that be, John? We, you know what? We don't need to bring it up again. <laughs> <laughs> We've used our charge on that topic. <laughs> it's It's gone. Um, what but, if you could refill charges at the Dark Moon Fair? But it's funny because, like, there's a lot of stuff in WoW that just I, used to be so important to me that now I'm just like, you know, maybe they'll hit it. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll like it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And raiding has kind of become that for me. I love raiding with you guys. You guys are fun. You guys are a blast. As mm -hmm. long as I'm not getting yelled at about anime. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm good. But... When it comes to, you know, how am I going to spend two hours of my Thursday and Sunday night? It's been a real hard sell for what's currently in there. And I, if they want to get me, things would have to probably change. If they don't change, that's no big deal. I'm totally fine with that. There's a lot of people who like raiding. But John, there's so much green right now in raiding. There's a lot of green. So much green. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm just content with it. I I found my place and it's good. But I would like to raid with you guys again. Well, we need you to. Um, at some point. Yeah, at some point. Yeah. You know and what also, was amazing? Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. I just remembered why I started on this tangent. <laughs> let me let me finish and then we'll move on. Um, that's how I am about the moose. Because there's a lot of people that are really upset about the moose. Okay. Yeah. I don't care that I'm never going to get that moose. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need a moose. You know, and the funny thing is, is I'm kind of the same way. Like, I really am. It's just one of those things where there's going to be more mooses. I know there is. Yeah. Mises. Uh, moosen. Oh, okay. Moosen. But uh, yeah, it's just it's it's a really cool thing. And, you know, when they showed off a moose mount in the Legion video, it's like, hey, that's kind of cool. Yay. We get a moose ghost crawler. Ha ha ha. Jokey, jokey, jokey. Right. Well, they put it at the end of this expansion, which I found kind of interesting. I mean, you know, th then we could start talking about how they're getting, you know, quest content and everything behind raiding and all that stuff and how that's been kind of a problem this expansion. But the moose itself. Yeah, it's that that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, and I don't I don't need that stuff anymore. You know, I don't know if it's just like a I don't know, just eh, it's fine. You know, yeah. I, I'm really happy for the people who are gonna get it and you know, they definitely deserve it because they're putting in the work for it. I'm not right. going well, to and the I'm other okay with thing that. Is, is I've seen some people getting hostile towards people who have found ways to obtain it without being part of a regular group that's been running oh, it like uh it, buying their way in or uh, just joining a team who is i don't know selling spots right. or buying just their way friends. in or knowing someone who's just doing it and they get it for you and you know mm -hmm. what everybody it's fine yeah why should you care you got one too and if you didn't guess what you have that same opportunity right it, it it's it's just fine like it doesn't matter it will be okay if you don't get a moose. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It'll be even better if you get a moose, but it'll be fine if you don't. Yeah. So everybody needs a moose every now and then in life. And you should probably be nicer to people who got it, like no matter how they got it. Yeah, definitely. Now, okay, if you did get the moose mount, would you always have a squirrel running around behind you too? 
took me a minute to get the reference. No. Yeah, if it took you a minute, it's probably going to take a lot of other people way too long. Because it's not like Rocky <laughs> and Bowwinkle is, you know, topical. Yeah. <laughs> at all. But, you know, whatever. And uh, uh, Draven Dresden in the chat room uh, must have a moose. He must have a moose. He must. Well, That's fine. There's a lot of ways you can get a moose. Yeah. <laughs> Some people want moose that you put in your hair. Or eat. I don't need that, so I'm good. You don't want like like chocolate mousse? I'd take chocolate mousse. Yeah. Well, you can put chocolate mousse in your hair, too. Yeah. While riding a mousse. Ben, I need to ask you another question. Okay. We've learned a lot of features about mm -hmm. Legion. Yeah. A lot of stuff that's coming out. What is the thing you are now most excited about for the expansion? thinking about it and this totally goes against my whole waffling back and forth between monk and mage earlier in the episode but getting my hands on the uh the the fire spec sword that i get and whatever the offhand's going to be too i am actually really excited for that i think that it's going to be a really incredible quest line i'm excited having a sword on my fire mage that you know was part of the the Thos family. <laughs> oh no, Sunstrider family, whatever. I forgot he had a last name for a second. <laughs> but uh it it it's that kind of like, you know, storytelling and arc and everything like that that I'm really excited about. Super excited about. Uh what about you? Uh I think I'm most excited about I'm gonna say the classes. I've never been so excited to to get back to my rogue roots, uh, but I also want to play the monk, and it's made me want to maybe try some some alts, maybe more than I than I have in the past. Uh, demon hunter looks great. Yeah, I'm um, definitely going to be making a demon hunter, so that's coming up for sure. Do do, do you like it? Oh, that story hasn't been told no, on the show. That's why I'm hinting at. <laughs> I guess that story should get told. Yeah. Well, well, first of all, so yeah, Demon Hunter is really cool. We both did get to, a chance to play it. Um, I really think it's cool. I'm definitely going to be playing around with one. Um, you know, I, I actually don't have the, uh, <laughs> the expansion pre-ordered yet or anything because I'm probably going to be continuing with this and getting the, the actual physical collector's edition. Um, uh, a big part of it is because between John and I, one of us needs to have the soundtrack so that each of us can listen to it as we spend time together. Not that we would copy it or anything. Right. We will exchange the disc uh, at times when we feel like the other person would want to hear it. Yes. That's how we do things mm -hmm. in this day and age. Mm hmm. Crap. <laughs> I might have to edit that. Good. Yeah. I'll bleep, bleep all that out. We just went on a cussing spree. Pretend. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. So... Yeah. Uh, we did get to both try the Demon Hunter. Mm -hmm. And uh, my experience with the Demon Hunter is, is not a lot of time on the Demon Hunter, but it does make for an interesting story. Um, so for anybody who uh, doesn't know, I think we talked about it on the show. Maybe we, maybe we didn't. Um, uh, I had a media pass this year to BlizzCon. And so it was nearing the end of the show. I didn't have a lot of time and so I had two things that were going on. I really wanted to try the new Heroes and Heroes of the Storm mm -hmm. uh, so I could talk about them on core. And I really wanted to try the Demon Hunter so I could talk about it here. Mm -hmm. uh, so the plan was for Scott and I to try the new Heroes in, uh, in Heroes of the Storm. So I texted him and said, hey, let me know when you're done with your dinner. We'll go check out the Heroes. And in the meantime, I figured, all right, well, I'll go check out the... Uh, the, the demon hunter. Mm -hmm. So I go in, I, uh, I use my media pass to get in and, and go in and sit down. Um, and they, you know, they're very courteous, very nice. Everybody at, at blizzard, um, running the con and they sit me down and say, you know, okay, enjoy your time that there wasn't really a line uh, at that particular time. It was during the concert actually. So mm -hmm. most of the hall was cleared out anyway. Um, yeah, that's usually how it goes on uh, second night. So sat down and started playing it. Well, I realized very early after I had sat down that I needed to know when Scott was getting done with his dinner 
and he was going to text me and that they were not going to appreciate, regardless of what pass I had, me pulling out my smartphone and looking at it while I was sitting at one of their demo stations. What, John, does your smartphone have a camera on it? It does, which is probably why they wouldn't have wanted me doing that. So I can't check to see if I'm getting a text, and I'm not going to feel it because I never feel the vibration of the phone, and I'm definitely not going to hear it because the concert's going on, and I've got headphones, headphones on. on. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, and I realize, okay, well, I can't stay. I need to get up and get this response and, and find out what's going on. So I decided that, okay, I knew the first ability you unlock as the demon hunter in the demo is the eye laser thing. Which is so cool. So and that's what cool. everybody had told me, so I wanted to at least get that. And I said, okay, I'm going to go until I get that, and then I'm going to get up. Well, it turns out that's not very far into the demo at no, all. It's like maybe five minutes. If that. It, took, it took me longer, we'll say. It took me... <laughs> I was doing a lot of stuff real slow and running around and getting a feel for things. And so. Oh, OK. Sorry. I just I just re remembered um, you give me so much crap because I play with inverted camera. Well, I changed the camera and then I just thought, oh, the next person who sits down there, I just realized that they might be like, oh, what's wrong with the camera? Ruined their life. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry. I just go. I forgot you played with an inverted camera. You were a heathen. So. <laughs> So I got to it. It probably took me about 10, 15 minutes to get to that point mm -hmm. in the demo. Um, and I, I said, OK, I got I to gotta go. So I took off my headphones. I put them over the monitor and I stood up. And the gentleman who had escorted me to sit down immediately comes racing over to talk to me. And he says, uh, he says, what happened? Did something break? Is something wrong? Like, <laughs> he sounds like his world is crashing because here's Mr. Media Man, not that he knows that I'm just on this show and, like, who cares, but Mr. <laughs> but Mr. Media Man's experience might not be ideal. Like, he's being so nice and so helpful and just, uh, is, is everything okay? Did something break? And I said, oh, no, nothing broke. Um, I just, I got to go. So I didn't have a whole lot of time, <laughs> and, and I got to go. And the entire time I'm telling him this, he looks like a puppy that's being told we're going on vacation and we'll see you in a week. Like he looks dejected mm -hmm. and I finished telling him and he clearly doesn't believe a word that I've just said. And he just real quietly says, did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I feel so bad for him though. Cause like, you know, his entire job is to make sure that, you know, let's get people in and out. Let's, you know, get the line flowing and everything like that. And if there's a media person, you know, give them the, the full tour and everything. Let them have, uh, you know, a ton of time. Let them make sure they get through the whole demo and everything. Right, so, so that in theory, yeah. for whatever I'm writing for, I can write up a nuanced and detailed mm -hmm. experience. Uh, and not here's the first 10, 15 minutes of the demo. <laughs> uh, well, OK, realistically, here's the first like four minutes of the demo. <laughs> right. So so I, I assured him, yes. I liked the demo a lot. I just had to go. Demon Hunter seems fun. Seems like a super fun class. And it, he looked like maybe he believed me a little bit more, <laughs> but he still looked really sad. So they walked me to the exit, and I get to the exit, and they said, uh, do you want a poster? <laughs> <laughs> and I turned around, and I... I so here's the truth. I didn't want a poster. <laughs> Not because I didn't actually want a poster, but because I felt like, look, there are people here who uh, are, and granted, this was near the end of the day on the last night. Like, odds are they were probably trying to get rid of them anyway, so it's not like I was denying anybody one, but that's what I didn't want to do. Like, I, th I figured... Nope, there are people here. It's their first BlizzCon, or you know, they're mm -hmm. they're not here as media or whatever. Yeah, they should get posters. But on the other hand, I realize if I tell this guy no, <laughs> night ruined. I'm I'm failing at my job. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna feel even worse. So I wanted to say no, thank you, but I realized that would make the situation way worse. So I said, yes, I will take a poster. 
so okay there there's another side to this that i've been trying to like compose in my head this is like the third time i've heard the story which i love the story it's absolutely great just because i can picture just this for lack i mean i'm sure he looks nothing like this but i think of the 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 fry kid from uh crusty burger and the simpsons like did you like the time you played the game sir you know just looking like that like he's like oh he's leaving early what am i gonna do is everything okay you know just want a poster (laughs) would you like a poster that'll make him like the game (laughs) but it's just like so it's either that or he's over with uh someone else standing there watching going like he hasn't even gotten eye beams yet it's been what 10 minutes jeez (laughs) then you get up it's like wait there's eye beams there's eye beams don't go (laughs) don't go there's eye beams yeah like you you didn't even get the mount or anything did you no i got the mount oh okay See, I think part of why it took me so much longer and people are like, why, why did it take you so long to get the eye beams um, They give you a whole bunch of quests and you mm-hmm. can kind of do them in whatever order you want. And the only one I had left before the next big push into the zone and story was the eye beams quest. Ah, gotcha. So I had, I had finished everything else up to that point. So th- that's why it took me a little bit longer, but... Regardless, I was not there for very long. Yeah, and they felt bad, and I felt bad. I I wanted to play it longer too. Um, ultimately, like that was the time I got with the demos, and you know I only got to play one hero and the new map in Heroes, so it's not like I got way more time over there either. Uh, I got a nice little taste of both. Yay, uh, tastes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but the cool thing is, is. Uh, probably my favorite thing about this BlizzCon, um, we talked about this a little bit. Well, I have something to say about the Demon Hunter really quick. Oh, okay. Go okay. ahead. Talk so, about the Demon Hunter. Um, I love how they just totally throw some lore at you at, at this one point. Uh, or if if you happen to die in the demo, <laughs> they throw lore. It's great. All of a sudden, Illidan's like, oh, so you have an eternal soul too, just like me? Huh? 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 <laughs> I mean, obviously he doesn't do the nudge nudge, but oh, well, I'm just sitting there. All of a sudden, he's like, "So you have an eternal soul too?" I'm like, "Lore," <laughs> just dropped in like the most offhanded, like, "Yeah, this is how it happened. Don't complain." Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. Anyways, sorry I didn't mean to interrupt, but um, that was just fun. So yeah, one of the things that I I just really liked about this BlizzCon um, is. We got to try everything relative, like, you went from seeing the stuff at BlizzCon to mm-hmm. having access to a lot of it. Now, I I know that I'm lucky in some regards being in the, in the beta for Overwatch, because obviously there's a lot of people who want to be in that yeah. beta that aren't. So I'm not speaking specifically about the beta, although that's opened up this weekend. Um, in fact, we're going to play some. Not everybody, just uh, still some people. A wider audience. Yes. Um, but, you know, you take a look at StarCraft and Legacy of the Void came out, you know, a couple days later. Mm -hmm. Um, you look at Heroes of the Storm, you know, the very next week you get Chogal. uh, Chogal. Um, the new map is on the test realms. You can try that. In fact, the Chogal and the new map were on the test realms even before then. Yeah, like Uh, when you got home, essentially. Yeah, the new characters in Overwatch unlocked right after that. The Mm -hmm. Uh, adventure for hearthstone launched later that next week yeah that Uh, was actually fantastic and you know i based on what mmo champion is putting out there i suspect we're closer to the beta than we might have predicted Mm -hmm. uh i i was gonna say it was gonna be a real long time but who knows now if they're putting out all this data mined information. Yeah, I was like, thinking late December personally. <laughs> like who knows? So we're we're at this really cool place where it was like you go to BlizzCon and you see all the new shiny and instead of being told, "Hey, you're going to have to wait, you know, half a year to play any of this." It's out. It's playable. Mm-hmm. Uh, the PTR for Diablo's up. You can try the new Diablo content they talked about. Uh, and that's just super cool. That that made it an even better BlizzCon post BlizzCon, yeah. if that makes sense. Um, what about you, Ben? What was your favorite part of BlizzCon? Just in hindsight now. Well, I'm not going to do what you did at our live show and say meeting all the fans. 
and then make me feel like or make you feel like a jerk this time. <laughs> but that was a huge highlight. I would like to say that one more time. Uh, everybody that we met, it was fantastic. Uh, next year, if you go and you didn't come up and say hi because you're like, oh, my God, it's Ben and John. That's really weird. Come up and say hi. <laughs> yeah, just come up and say yeah. hi. Yeah. So anyways, just just throwing out that that out there. But it was well, it was really true. great. We seeing did everybody. hear from some people who said they were hesitant to come up, which we were very nice about. We didn't judge them at the time. But in the back of my head, I was like, it's weird. Why would they be worried yeah. about meeting us? It's just us. Well, we're two dorks. I mean, they see how mean you are to me. So, okay, that's true. I can see why people wouldn't want to meet me. They think yeah, I'm mean. I could, yeah. But I mean, I'm nice. So, and it was really funny when people would see me and be like, hey, Ben, like the show and stuff. I'm like, well, John's right there too. Oh my God. And then they ran away. So, <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. No, not him. But uh, no, that, that was always great. Uh, it's always awesome uh, seeing our friends that we never get to see and everything like that. It, it, I love it. Um, for the show itself, though, I got to say, I really, even though I didn't get to actually sit with you this year during the uh, opening, <laughs> um, that whole opening ceremony, like, you know, panel that happened, there was so much that was thrown out and realizing that BlizzCon has turned into so much more than just World of Warcraft. I'm really excited about that. I mean, yeah. as much as I love WoW, seeing all the new stuff popping up everywhere in every game, it was just exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just an insane amount of new stuff. And it was just one thing after another, after another, after another. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love new stuff and I'm sure the people who watched love hearing new stuff too. And probably the best part about new stuff is getting new stuff. Yeah. I have to agree. I got some cool stuff. If you're looking for new stuff, the easiest way to get it would be to go to slash loot.com. Click the podcast section and you can get some new stuff in the form of an Azeroth Roundtable t-shirt. Now, what's that you say, John? I already have an Azeroth Roundtable t-shirt because I wanted to support you guys. Well, it can be new again by getting a new Azeroth Roundtable Mm -hmm. t-shirt. It it does contain the same logo. But it's new. Yeah, it's a new version. That's that's right. It's new to you. It's like buying the same car. Exactly. Uh, And if you say, but John... Look, I don't need a new shirt. I've got plenty of shirts. Well, Mm -hmm. you can go to geekasylum.etsy.com and you can get yourself a Azeroth Roundtable keychain or uh, pendant or -hmm. necklace, whatever you want to call it. You sure can. Uh, That's got two logos. So there's more new stuff there. There's new stuff all over the place. Everywhere. And it helps us keep the show going. So we appreciate... Anybody who has bought anything, uh, we believe in giving you something for your money to support us. So buy something for yourself or a friend or grab the shirt and dry your car with it. We don't really care. Yeah. Buy it for an enemy. Yeah. There you go. You know, help them become a better target of uh, popularity. Give your enemy a shirt of shame with Azeroth Roundtable. (laughs) That backfired. (laughs) (laughs) Well, John, uh, it has been a pleasure kind of recapping BlizzCon in our own way. Yeah. Um, where can people find you? And uh, especially the a, a new-ish way to find you. Right. So if you want to find more from me, you can follow me on Twitter, John underscore Jagger. Um, you can also catch me on the NVIDIA stream. That is 3 to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, on Saturday with Scott Johnson. You can catch me on Core. That's the Heroes of the Storm podcast. Uh with me, Scott Johnson, and Bo Schwartz. Um, You can occasionally catch me doing parallel words, except that got interrupted by vacations spectacularly. So that's coming back. That one episode was really, or two episodes were really good. Uh, uh, So it's coming back. It's just figuring out uh, schedules post-vacation. So uh, that's on its way back. But I have also started uh, doing my own streaming. If you follow the Azeroth Roundtable YouTube page, you know that I uh, am prone to streaming a bunch of random stuff that is not Warcraft related. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to try and keep the YouTube page a little more focused on Warcraft or at least Blizzard or at the very least stuff that Ben and I are doing together. So we're not saying, hey, it's Azeroth Roundtable, but it's actually just me. Uh, Or just me, because that's going to happen. So uh, so 
I have my own uh, YouTube channel that you can check out. Uh, I don't think I have enough followers yet to have an address for it, so I'm going to just say this. Uh, you can search YouTube for John Jagger. You can find me there. Or, All one word? Uh, yeah, or just separate it. Just search for John Jagger. Oh, You'll that's find a good it way. Eventually. Uh, and, uh, you know, support me there. There's going to be tons of games. I'm going to try and stream something every day. Uh, we'll see. Right now, this is actually being hosted on the Twitch channel for that. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash Revendon. So you can find all that there. And how do they spell that, just in case? R-E-V-E-N-D-A-W-N. Cool. What uh, about you, Ben? If you're looking for me, you can find me on Twitter. I am at Ben the Mage. Um, I also do, you know, Battle Pets and Geektopia. And, of course, uh, the big thing is, is eventually I'm going to start streaming uh, as well so just you know watch twitter because it'll say stuff there um hopefully i'll get these freaking sound issues corrected and we won't have to worry about that yeehaw um anyways the show itself though you can find us on twitter at azroth rt uh, if you have any questions comments want to tell us about your favorite thing that happened at blizzcon uh, send those to azroth roundtable at gmail.com uh, of course, you can find all of our episodes, including this one, at AzerothRoundtable.com, iTunes, Stitcher, and on TuneIn. And last but not least, our intro contains music from Volatile Reaction by Kevin McLeod. And you can find more of his music at Incopytech.com. Finger guns. Yeah. Okay. It's a show, everybody. Yeah, I have stopped recording. Um, I really hope that the scratchiness isn't on the recording it shouldn't be because it hasn't been in the past but i'll okay. we'll i'll see. look into it more i mean i thought i had it fixed and i don't know what's going on with that echo and who knows it's who weird knows yeah um but we are going to be streaming some overwatch uh did you want to take a break first maybe walk next door uh, sure. We're going to take a quick little break, and we'll be back to play some Overwatch. Yep, uh, so keep an eye on the uh, the Twitters and whatnots, uh, or just stay here if you want. Yeah. Whatever. But yeah. uh, anyways, uh, we'll catch you all later. So with that being said, I'm Ben. That's John. You're you. I'm kind of copying Ro. Wow, you, yeah. Ro, and great, uh, good trademark. Night. Sorry, I've got like 20 things.